Thank you, Madam President and members. Today I have the special honor of welcoming Antonio Echeverria Garcia, the governor of the state of Nayarit, one of his first visits to the California Senate. Thank you for joining us. This week marks the end of a long journey recognizing the unique contributions of Californians of Nayarit descent. Last year, the State Senate approved the Senate Concurrent Resolution 81, which marks Nayarit as our newest sister state in recognition of our deep cultural ties. Yesterday, the Gov Governor Echeverria Garcia and I signed a letter of cooperation that implements SCR 81 and formally establishes the sister state relationship between the state of California and the state of Nayarit. The letter of cooperation between Nayarit and California will promote mutual beneficial exchanges in the areas of cultural education, science, tourism, and other areas. I want to say in a few, wor a few words about our guest, Antonio Cheverria Garcia's rise to governor might seem ordained. He comes from a long political family. His father, Antonio Cheverria Dominguez, served as governor of Nayarit, and his mother, Marta Elena Garcia, served as a federal senator representing you know, Nayarit. But as California's own current governor will tell you, there are no coronations in a democratic society. You have to win an election and you're on your own terms and win the trust of voters. Uh, Mr. Cheverria, Governor Cheverria Garcia did just that when he was elected at the age of 43 as governor after a successful career that saw him rise in the top to the top in the world of business. In 2013, he became the general director of Grupo Alica, a diverse conglomerate of businesses with shares in media, real estate, bottling refreshner, and automo automotive dealers. Governor Echeverria takes the office at a time of great opportunity and peril in our interconnected world, Nayarit and California, as you all know, share an ocean, and we face the common threat of climate change and global warming. Our two states are places of great natural beauty, and we must protect our environment, which contributes greatly to our economy through the agriculture and tourism. Again, on a personal note, I want to let you know that I'm very proud to have the governor here as one of three people of Nayarit descent to serve in the legislature. Assemblymember Eduardo Garcia serves the people of Imperial County and Coachella Valley. The third Nayarita to serve in the legislature was my former boss, Assemblymember Marco Antonio Firebaugh, who represented the areas of East LA where I was born and raised. Many immigrants and their descendants from Mexico across the Pacific, Europe, and the African diaspora have come to California to find, uh, to find our dream. Each group of immigrants who called California home have left a strong, the state stronger and contributed to our unique culture, and Nayaritas are no exception. Please help me welcome the great governor of the state of Nayarit, Echeverria Garcia. Welcome to the California State Senate. Madam President, if uh, you allow the governor to say a few words. Without objection. Thank you. Honorable Senado Estatal de California, señoras y señores senadores, ciudadanos de California, comunidad nayarita que radica en este próspero estado de la Unión Americana, amigos y amigas. Vengo de una tierra, Nayarit, de la que alguna vez un hombre partió a traer fe y esperanza a quienes en aquel lejado siglo XVIII habitaban estas tierras de las entonces altas Californias. La expedición de, Fra la expedición de Fray Junípero Serra desde San Blas, Nayarit, trajo luz a mujeres y hombres, sentó en las nueve misiones fundadas de las 21 que existen, las bases de lo que 249 años después es el estado de California la quinta economía en el mundo, la tierra de oportunidades, la tierra de brazos abiertos y con quienes la historia nos identifica muy estrechamente. Aprecio esta oportunidad de expresar un saludo lleno de afecto y respeto del pueblo de Nayarit al pueblo de California, representando también en este Senado Estatal. Permítanme, por favor, saludar muy especialmente al senador Ricardo Lara, un hombre valiente que lucha por causas y que aquí en esta alta tribuna ha querido y logrado hermanar a Nayarit con el estado de California, haciéndolo con argumentos históricos, culturales 
y económicos muy sólidos por su tierra, la de sus padres y abuelos, la que algún día dejaron en busca de una mejor oportunidad de vida que aquí encontraron. Los nayaritas hacen mucho, especialmente por sus familias. Les comparto un dato que ilustra bien lo que digo. En el año 2017, los paisanos nayaritas enviaron remesas a Nayarit por más de 470 millones de dólares, un récord histórico para la entidad. Diariamente llegan a Nayarit un millón mil dólares por conceptos de remesas. Esto dibuja el esfuerzo de ellos y lo que esta tierra les permite construir para sus familias allá, en alguno de los 20 municipios con los que cuenta nuestra entidad. Gracias, senador Lara. Gracias a todos por el respaldo que la iniciativa ha tenido y que consolida una gran oportunidad de cooperación en temas fundamentales como la educación, la cultura, el turismo, la ciencia y la tecnología. Reciban, por favor, por mi conducto, el saludo de casi un millón doscientos mil nayaritas que estamos construyendo un nuevo tiempo para nuestra tierra. Gracias por su hospitalidad. Nayarit es una tierra que se honrará en recibirlo siempre. Aquella expedición de fe del hoy santo Fray Junípero Serra es hoy una gira de trabajo que formaliza los lazos de hermandad que por siempre hemos tenido. Muchas gracias. Gracias, Governor Shavira García. Members, we will now go to Senator Hueso. Senator Hueso. Thank you, Madam President. Allow me to translate for the governor. Honorable California State Senate, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished senators, citizens of California, the Nayarit community that resides in the State of the Union, friends, I have come from a land, Nayarit, where once a man departed to bring faith and hope to those who in that distant 18th century inhabited these lands of Upper California. The expedition of Fray Junipero Serra from San Blas, Nayarit, brought light to women and men whom established in the nine founded, mis in the tw nine founded missions of the 21 that exist. The basis of what 249 years later is the state of California, the fifth economy of the world, the land of opportunities, the land of open arms, and with whom history identifies us very closely. I appreciate this opportunity to express a greeting full of affection and respect from the people of Nayarit to the people of California, also represented in the state Senate. Please allow me to especially greet Senator Ricardo Lara, a brave, a brave man who fights for causes and who, from the highest post, has wanted and achieved a sisterhood relationship between Nayarit and the state of California, and doing it with a very solid historical, cultural, and economic argument. For their land, that their parents and their grandparents, which one day they left in search of a better life, of opportunity that they found here, the Nayaritas do a great deal, especially for their families. I share with you a fact that illustrates well what I say. In 2017, countrymen and women from Nayarit sent remittances to their state of origin in the amount of $471.3 million, a historical record for the state of Nayarit. For the, the state of Nayarit and its 20 cities, this represents an enormous input to the economy that allows our families to promote prosperity for themselves. Thank you, Senator Lara. Thank you for all your support that this initiative has had and that it consolidates a great opportunity for cooperation on fundamental issues such as education, cultural tourism, science, and technology. Please receive from me the greetings of almost 1,200,000 Nayaritas that are building a new era for our state. Thank you for your hospitality. Nayarit is a land that will always be honored to welcome you. That expedition of faith of today's fr Saint Fray Junipero Serra is now a working visit that formalizes the bonds of brotherhood that we have always had.